If you've ever tried bonding acrylic together with something like Weld On and an applicator bottle like this, you'd know how difficult that is. This stuff is like water and it runs everywhere. It drips on everything and it makes these ugly little white spots everywhere and uh, you just can't get rid of them. So I've got two little tips that's going to change this whole game for you. So let's get straight into this. Now, the first issue we have is with the actual fluid. This stuff evaporates so easily. And um, when you actually try and dispense it like this, you don't even have to squeeze it. It just starts running out like this. And as soon as you stop, it doesn't stop. You might actually be able to see it's still running down. There you go. It's still running down the tip and it collects down here and it just pulls up like that so the next time you go to try and apply some it automatically starts to drip and it's not even coming out of there yet you can see the level is be is below this level there but it's still dripping and that's just the fluid that's there all right so how do we actually solve this first thing to do is you need to get the air out of the bottle and to do that Make sure you haven't got your work underneath it and you just squeeze it. You can see it's running out. You're basically just getting rid of most of the air inside. And then what you do is you let go. Now you can tip this upside down and just make sure you've got nothing coming out. And you can see there's absolutely no drips or anything. To get anything out, you literally just have to gently squeeze it like that right and as soon as you stop squeezing the air pressure is going to push it try and push it back so you will hardly get anything coming out of this bottle so let's say you've done one application you put your bottle down first thing you need to do is just give it a good squeeze again get rid of the air let go tip it upside down make sure there's nothing in there and you are good to go second tip and we're gonna have to get some acrylic here to show you this is one example I've just done uh, let's see right so let's say for example we got these two pieces that we need to glue, uh, basically glue together again I'm squeezing the bottle getting the air out just tipping it right we're good to go now normally what you would do is you'd go from one side to the other and as soon as you get here you stop and you get this little flick happening right and that's that's what causes I'll actually show you let's just give it a bit of a squeeze you get that squeeze going and then you got these little spots everywhere right because this needle is basically pressing up against something on like this edge for example as soon as you get there doesn't matter what you do you're still going to get this little flick so the way around this let's just clean this is you start on one end and as soon as you get close to the other end you stop and you just move away like this let's turn it this way and I'll do this side right you start at the edge go towards the other edge you stop and you just lift it up All right looking from the side you go to the edge and you just lift it up this way to the edge and lift it up this way instead of going like this and flicking because even though it flicks that way you still get drops there and just to show you what I mean let's say for example you made a few blotches there right so this stuff dries pretty quickly but if I were to try and rub this off quickly before it dries right it might look like it's gone but it's a bit hard to get it on the camera if you do manage to catch the light like this you'll see those marks are still there and trying to get rid of those are next to impossible you can try all you want you're just going to scratch the surface of your work so let's try this side again take your bottle 
just give it a squeeze make sure it's clean nothing dripping and then go to the edge and just let the liquid run and lift it up again same thing just go to the edge lift it up and that way you don't get any splatter and if you do it'll be only like hardly anything really you can see if I do this uh, let's see there is literally nothing anywhere and that is a pretty much perfect join right there and this stuff is really really good i would highly recommend well done so there we go guys it's pretty straightforward and i hope that helps if you got any suggestions maybe you've done something different you've got a different way of doing that please leave a comment and uh, help somebody else who is in desperate need of figuring out how to do this thanks very much and i'll catch you on the next one